left the house and forgot to turn something off, like maybe your lights, the TV, the curling iron. Well, our next guest has a solution that promises to make your home smarter. Here with all the info, please welcome Roy Vela with Hive. Hey, Roy. Welcome back to Houston Life. Thank you. Good to so see you. This stuff is so cool. I mean, I am so into like the smart devices and all that. But even for regular folks who are maybe not as tech savvy or not really into it, what you guys offer really makes it even better for folks who don't want to deal with technology, right? That, that's precisely the point. So in effect, you don't want to buy equipment that gives you more work to do. Right. You want the equipment that you buy and the things you put in your house to make your house work for you instead of you working for it, right? So you'd rather have your house react appropriately when a door opens or when someone enters a room, then you have to take those actions. Yeah, you know, I, I bought a little smart plug device <clears throat> like two years ago. I still haven't even installed it and plugged it in because I don't have the two minutes to look it up and figure it out. So instead of buying a bunch of separate devices that people yes. oftentimes you know, can't figure out how to get all connected to one, what you guys offer is a solution to get separate devices to work together, right? Yeah, it is about a, an ecosystem of devices and it's, it's enough to, to start the first step in your smart home adventure, right? To get uh, enough of a, a bulb. This is the box unboxing right here. It's a, there's bulbs in there, there's motion sensors, contact sensors, there's a thermostat, uh, um, and all of that works together pretty seamlessly, easy to install, there's no need for an electrician. If you can unscore a light bulb or plug in a plug, you can pretty much handle this. Pretty easy. Um, or if you can, you know, stick something on the right. wall or so the this door. Is a contact sensor that you put the two parts, one on the door side, one on the wall side. When the door opens or closes, our system recognizes that the door is opened or closed. So I might put one on my front door, and then at three o'clock when the door opens, I know, oh, my kids are home safe because I'm expecting the door to open or close. Interesting. So that sensor then, if it's on your front door, you're getting an alert on your phone Correct. saying that the door has been opened. Right. You'll get it on your iPhone or your Android. You might get it on your Apple Watch. You might The notifications can be set however you like them. And you can have things react. So the door opens and the light goes on in the front hall for them, right? So I get a notification, door opens. The system also knows front door opens, turn on hall light. I this love that. Of. And it, that could go on a cabinet or all kinds of things. Things. You could put it on a cookie cabinet that you don't want open, and so I see the front door open, and then I see the cookie cabinet open. Okay, something's up. <laughs> uh, parents outsmarting their kids. It's so exactly. sneaky. Now, what really sets Hive aside and apart from you know the confusion of the smart world is that you guys have created this ecosystem of sorts where all of these different smart devices can live under one umbrella. So can you sort of explain how this works because I just think it's mind blowing that whether you're on a tablet or a smart watch or a smartphone, yeah. all of this stuff can be controlled. Yeah, I mean, the, the point is to uh, bring the price down. So part of the smart home challenge is that you end up, for a lot of money, you end up with one or two items. This is a box of the sort of base set to enable you to start to do some of the smart home things together and then control it from wherever you are. So you might turn on a crock pot when you're on your way home. Um, um, you might uh, get a notification, as I said, that a door opens or closes, or there's, there's motion in a room that you didn't expect. Um, we have a camera that you, they showed the camera app, and you can see what's going on in a room. You can interact with the room. You can uh, make a dog bark from your camera, or speak to someone in the room, or have them speak back and listen to it. It's all, and whether you're on an iPad like it is here, or on an iPhone, or an Android, or your Apple phone, Apple Watch, that all will work seamlessly together. Well, and again, that is a, it's, it just seems like such a huge difference instead of, you know, because a lot of these smart devices, they, they have their own apps that you have to download. Yes. But instead of, you know, launching the thermostat app and launching that app and launching that app, all, all a user has to do is launch the Hive app and then they can swipe through and see the living room and the curling iron and the lights and the cameras and all of that, right? And we integrate with third parties as well. So we're with Amazon Alexa. So we, in my house, my favorite command is Alexa, turn everything off. And Alexa goes through and turns everything off that ought to be off when we're all in bed. Um, Google Home, same thing, we have an integration there. And we're looking very strategically about what other kinds of products and services we might integrate to the core hub, as you said, so that you have one app that controls everything in your smart home 
unified. I think it's so cool also that people are able to do things maybe they never thought were yeah. possible. Like you can say, hey Alexa, turn the lights blue or, or turn the lights off if you're in the living room and you don't want to get up but you want to turn on a movie. Even with decorations too. Of course, yeah, you could do it for Halloween or Christmas. You could turn lights green, you could turn lights orange or brown. You could have lights go on and off, put them on a schedule. Um, and again, you could do it from your, from your watch, from your phone or through Alexa. It all controlled as you like. So right there, those are turning on the pumpkins um, or blowing up the, uh, the scary Halloween guy. Uh, that can all be done remotely if you want. And would you have to actually actively launch the app or could you also set that easily on a schedule from one of exactly. your devices? Yeah, you, put it, you can just put it on a timer if you want so that it blows up at night, turns on at night, turns off in the day. I mean, and, it's simple enough. And this, the changing light bulb that we're seeing now, that of course requires the use of, of smart bulbs, but that's something that you guys have in your kits. Exactly, exactly. So you're just screwing in a bulb, as I said, or for those Halloween ornaments, you're just putting a plug in and then plugging the ornament into the plug, right? And then you can schedule it, you can control it, you can do whatever you want. Well, I think it is amazing, this entire new world that we're in. I mean, again, we're doing things that people never would have imagined. Oh, yeah, my yeah. grandmother, I mean, mind blown. Yeah, she yeah. never would would have imagined half this it stuff. It starts to approach magic and frankly goes to our promise, which is let's get living. Stop dealing with all that stuff. Let it react to you and you can get on with your life. Because frankly, playing with the kit is only for geeks like me who enjoyed that. Everyone else wants to get on with everything else. Absolutely. Well, let's get living. Roy Vela from Hive, thank you so much for stopping My by. My pleasure. And a reminder that Hive has welcome home plans that start at just $9.99 per month. If you would like more info, just log on to Hive Home. Dot com. And we'll be right back with much more Houston Life.